So what I want to cover real quick is an introduction on functions. Um, but before we start really getting into writing our own, I want to show you how the Arduino actually works. So I've mentioned before that Arduino is written in a C-based language. And C-based languages usually don't have things called void setups or void loops. What they have is they run what is called a main function. And so this is what, right here, this is the code that's actually on your Arduino. It's pre-built in. You don't want to erase it. It's actually very hard to get into and, and wipe off your Arduino completely. This is already on there. And there's some stuff on here that we don't really care about. But there are some things in here that are kind of interesting, so I just want to mention it. Uh, for a couple reasons especially, if you're planning on doing any other type of programming beyond microcontrollers, it's important to see how things work um, with that other type of programming, not using setups and loops, but using this, this main function here. So what I'm actually going to do for now is I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to put it at the bottom of my code. This isn't going to let it run, but I want to take a few things out that we don't really care about right now. This right here is an Arduino library. It has our pre-built-in functions, which we'll be discussing in a minute. And these other things that I'm taking out, they will do some stuff. But for right now, my purpose is I just want to show a few things. I'm going to organize this a little bit different. I'm going to take out this if statement. I just want to put the key things in here. So let's just talk about this right here. I took out just some, some things that I don't feel are necessary to discuss at this moment. But we have this int main. Now for C++ programming, the int main will only run one time. That is the entire program. Now I also want to discuss what we've done previously. This is what you would write in int main. This is the scope of the int main. Previously, we've written things in our setup and our loop. And you haven't known this, but what you've been doing is you've been writing functions. This is my void setup function. This is the data type of the function. This is the name of the function, how I call it. And from this curly bracket to this curly bracket, everything in there, when I call setup, will run. That's my setup function. Same thing for my loop here. This is how I declare my function. I give it a name. I give it a data type. And then here is what my loop function is actually going to do. Now, I've mentioned before that the setup runs once, and it runs first, and the loop runs forever. Well, this is what's already on our Arduino. And this is what runs. And this main runs one time. You can't get away from that. But what we can see is at some point in here, we call our setup function. So what it does as this main's running, remember I deleted a few things. Those things do what they need to do. And then it comes to this thing called setup. And what it does is it scours memory to find the thing called setup. And when it finds it, it jumps into it. And it runs as many lines of code as it needs to. It runs every single line of code in this setup till it reaches the end of the scope. When it reaches the end of the scope, it jumps back into here. We have finished our setup. It can continue on. So how does the loop run forever then? Because the setup, we can see that it runs first and it runs once. But how does the loop run forever? Well, I don't want to get into it right now, but this right here is a way to write an infinite loop. Something that might look a little bit easier for us to see would be if this was a while. And I can just write the word true in here. While this condition is true, the loop's going to run. So I jump into here. It finds a thing called loop jumps into the code, and runs each line of code. For this code, it turns on an LED, turn, waits, turns it off, waits, and then it leaves this scope. 
it says we're done. We get to the end of the while loop scope, checks the condition, it's still true. So it starts up at the top, we'll do the loop again. It finds the loop, does each line of code, and when all of these lines of code are done, it jumps back down, says we're done with the loop, but since it's in a while loop, it just continuously does it over and over and over. So this is what's actually happening. It's important if you want to get into any other programming, especially C-based programming, if you're going to be getting into electrical engineering, computer engineering, software engineering, computer science, it is nice to know what's happening in the actual int main. So these are functions. We've already written them. In the next video I'm going to upload here in just a second, we're going to talk about how to write our own functions. And we'll see some of these structures very similar. Data type, a name, parentheses, and then a scope of code.